In this first video we will look at how we can use Blender to learn simple graphics programming. Let's make the most simple image possible, a white circle that we can move around and change the radius of. Ok, so I'm using Blender 3.1 and first of all let's delete the default cube and the light source and then we can add a plane which will be our screen. To give it a material we need a shader editor and here we can click on new. We only need the output node, so we can delete the rest. The general idea is that in this window we will create a formula that will calculate the brightness of every point on our screen. So the most simple one would be just one number. We can use a value node for this. And if we plug this in here, we don't see anything yet. We have to switch to the material preview mode up here. So at zero our image is black and in computer graphics one should be white. Now you can see that 1 is not perfectly white here. This is because Blender is applying its own tone map. We can disable this in the render tab, color management and set this to none. So we don't have filmic here. Now you can see that we have a perfectly white screen at 1 and with this slider we can change the brightness of our screen. So what this node setup does is at every point on our screen it displays this number as brightness. Now if we want to create more complex images we want to have different values for different parts of our image. So we have to make this brightness value dependent on the position of our screen. We can do this with a geometry node and here we have the position vector. The blue dot just means that there are three coordinates in it. And we can split them with a separate XYZ node if we plug this in here, the vector gets split into its three components. And we can display the X component. And we can see that on the positive X axis, the value gets higher. Here it's like 0.5, here it's 0. And in the negative part of the X axis, it's black because our screen only displays between 0 and 1. We can do the same for the Y axis. To define every point on our screen, we only need the X and Y component. So these two sockets contain different values for different parts of our image. In the center they are 0, 0 and towards the top they get higher to 1, 1. So we need to test if the point defined with these two values is inside or outside the circle. If it's inside, the brightness is 1 and if it's outside, the brightness is 0. And this formula will run for every pixel or for every point on our screen. Now to do this we can use built-in nodes like a length node. But in this video we want to do everything from scratch. To implement this we just need a math node. Multiplying x by x is the same as squaring it. We do the same for y. We add them and then take the square root. So what this value contains is the distance of this point towards the center. So if we display this, at the center this value is zero. And the further we go out, the larger the distance is. Now we can use this distance value to do a comparison. Uh, use the less than option. If the distance is smaller than this number, it returns true, which is 1, which is white. And if the condition is false, it will return 0. Ok, next let's try to move this circle around. This can be done by just offsetting the x and y values. So we can add or subtract a value. And doing the same on the y axis will move it up or down. So we can now move the point around and we can also define the radius by changing this value. Now if we want to render this image to a file, we have to move the camera to the center so it looks straight down onto the image. To do this select the camera and press N for the menu here and set the location to 0. Then we can move it up a bit. And we can also reset the rotation so it looks straight down. If we go into the camera view we can see that the aspect ratio doesn't match. We can change this in the output tab 
by setting the resolution on both axes to the same number. Now it's a square. And to fix the corners we have to go into the camera settings with the camera selected. And here we can change it to autographic. And because our screen has the size 2 units we can set the scale to 2. Now the corners also match. Now we can render an image. And you can save it here to a file. But if we zoom in, you can see that we have gray values here. In our node graph we defined that we only want to have 0 or 1. This happens because Blender is sampling the image multiple times. And we can change this in the render settings. We can set the samples to 1. We can also set this to 0. And if we render this image again, we can see that we have black or white values. One last thing we can do is to put all this into our own custom node. And let's call this draw circle 2D. Now inside the group we can also expose some of the values. So the x offset, the y offset and the radius. Okay, so whenever we need to draw a circle, we can just reuse this node and we can also drive these values by connecting something to the sockets here.